Dr. P. Kalpana. Welcome to Kalpana's Engineering Mathematics. In this video, I will teach you how to find the solution of linear simultaneous equations using Gauss elimination method. In this method, first the unknowns are eliminated successively and the system is reduced to upper triangular system from which the unknowns are formed by back substitutions. Let us consider a system of linear equations a1x plus b1y plus c1z is equals to d1 a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equals to d2 and a3x plus b3y plus c3z equals to d3 where a1 b1 c1 d1 a2 b2 c2 d2 a3 b3 c3 d3 are the constants and x y z x y z are unknowns so to find the the solution the values of x y z what we have to do is first the step one is eliminate x from the second and the third equations so this is the equation number one and this is equation number two and this is equation number three so the first step is eliminate x from the the second and third equation so that is the first step eliminate x from second and third so assume a1 is not equal to 0 assume a1 is not equal to 0 and eliminate x from by using the first equation eliminate x from the second and the third equation so for the second equation to eliminate the x from the second equation by subtracting a2 a1 times of the equation 1 from equation 2 we can eliminate the x from the second equation to eliminate x from the third equation what we have to do is subtract the first equation a3 by a1 times of first equation from third equation we can eliminate the x from the third equation so by operating these two so the resulting equations are the first equation is as it is a1x plus b1y plus c1z equals to d1 and you just apply a2 by a1 times of x so that gives only a2 so if you subtract uh, these two you will get this becomes 0 so the first term is 0 and this is some constant so that can be written as b1 dash y plus c1 dash z is equals to b1 dash so similarly if you operate a3 by a1 times equation 1 minus equation 3 uh, the resulting equation is b3 dash y plus c3 dash z is equals to d3 dash so these are the new set of equations the 4 5 and 6 and the next step is step 2 eliminate y from the sixth equation so that is the the next step so eliminate y from equation 6 so assume b2 dash is not equal to 0 and by using the equation 5 so eliminate y from the sixth equation so the operation is b just subtract b3 dash by b2 dash times of equation 5 from equation 6 we can eliminate the y from the, the sixth equation 
Then the resulting equations are a1x plus b1 by plus c1z is equals to d1 b2 dash y plus c2 dash z plus d2 dash and by operating uh, this one you will get c3 dash z plus d3 dash. So then the system looks like a upper triangular system. So the far, uh, a to x value here the x uh, a to x value is 0 and here a3 x and b3 y values are 0. So this is it looks like an upper triangular system. So then the next step is the step 3 is by simply back substitutions we will get the unknown values. So by uh, this is the equation number 7 and this is the equation 8 and this is equation 9. So by operating the equation 9 so z equals to d3 d3 dash by c3 dash and if you substitute the z value in equation 8 you will get the the y value if you substitute y and z values in equation 7 you will get the x y x value so this is the the procedure to find the unknown values using gauss elimination method let me solve an example for easy understanding of gauss elimination method Solve the system of equations x plus y plus z is equals to 9, 2x minus 3y plus 4z is equals to 13, 3x plus 4y plus 5z is equals to 40 using Gauss elimination method. So in the Gauss elimination method, first what we have to do is eliminate x from the uh, second and third equation. So this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 and this is equation 3. So eliminate x from the the second and the third equations. So step one is eliminate x from second and third equations. So the operations used are here uh, multiply the equation 1 with 2 and subtract it from the, the second equation. So equation 2 minus 2 into equation 1 this operation is used to eliminate x from the, the second equation so similarly to eliminate x from the third equation so multiply the equation 1 with 3 and subtract it from the third equation so equation 3 minus 3 into equation 1 to apply these two operations then the resulting equations are equation 2 minus 2 into equation 1 equation 2 so 2x minus 3y plus 4z is equals to 13 minus 2 into equation 1 so multiply 2 with equation 2x plus 2y plus 2z is equals to 18 and subtraction gives this is minus 5y and this is plus 2z and this is minus 5 or you can write 5y minus 2z is equals to 5 and equation 3 minus equation 1 so what is equation 3 3x plus 4y plus 5z is equals to 40 minus 3 into equation 1. So 3x plus 3y plus 3z is equals to 27 and this is y plus 2z is equals to 13. So the new set of equations are x plus y plus z is equals to 9. This is equation 1. And after eliminating x, 5y minus 2z is equals to 5. 
this is equation 5 and y plus 2z is equals to 13. This is equation 6. So these are the, the new set of equations and the next step is eliminate y from the 6th equation. So that is the step 2. Step 2 is eliminate y from equation 6 using equation 5. So multiply equation 6 with 5 and subtract it from the, the 5th equation. We can remove the y in the 6th equation. So 5. 5 into equation 6 minus equation 5. So this is the operation. So 5 into equation 6. So 5 y plus 5 to 10 z is equals to 5 3 65 and equation 5. 5 y minus 2 z is equals to 5. So by the subtraction, this is 12z is equals to 60. So the new set of equations, x plus y plus z is equals to 9 and the fifth one, 5y minus 2z is equals to 5 and 12z is equals to 60. So the system looks like a upper triangular system. So then go for the step 3. So step 3 is just simply the back substitutions of the unknown values you will get the unknowns. So to this is equation 7 and this is equation 8 and equation 9. So from equation 9, from equation 9, 12z equals to 60. So z equals to 60 by 12, so that is 5. And if you substitute the z value 5 in equation 8, substitute, z equals to 5 in equation 8 5y minus 10 is equals to 5 that equals to 5y equals to 15 and y equals to 3 and substitute a z is 5 and y is 3 in equation 7. So x plus 3 plus 5 is equals to 9. So that implies x equals to 1. So the unknowns values are x equals to 1, y equals to 3 and z equals to 5. So this is the, the solution using Gauss elimination method. If you feel this video is informative, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Click the bell icon for quick updates.